Hey folks, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to be reviewing a house of Tom Ford once again. Uh, it's been a while since I did my last Tom Ford fragrance review. Uh, do not have owned that many Tom Fords. I just reviewed a lot of them from my brother's sample, you know, <laughs> combination. But today we're going to be looking at the latest fragrance uh, from their house. I think it's called Beau de Jour. Uh, this is EDP concentration. Previously used to come in the private blend. Now recently they launched it in more affordable designer side. So it's still uh, not very cheap, but much cheaper than the private blend, at least about, I think about uh, 70, 80 odd dollars, okay? So we'll look at this and I'll let you know what it smells like, who is it for, longevity, and if it's worth the juice, uh, if it's worth the money, sorry, rather. So today, first of all, my scent of the morning was, it's actually evening, I'm still rocking it, it's Guerlain's Vetiver EDT. I wanted this for a very long time. I did review the EDP, did not, I was not very big fan of it as far as I remember, but uh, this EDT one actually it's pretty awesome. I'll review this next. Uh, this is Guerlain is actually growing on me a lot. Second thing is my uh, after lunch. It's about uh, two, almost two p.m. I'm going with green tea, double bag <laughs> with honey and a lot of lemon. So trying to uh, stay, you know, uh, healthy, feeling much better than yesterday. So yep, no more cold stuff never <laughs> so let's hit the review so this is big thanks to one of my brothers and dr jeffrey why he is you know he, he like contributed a lot to this channel and to you guys by you know lending me his bottles this is one of them and he does buy a lot of amazing fragrances so here's the box it looks simplistic white but it has some lines that the light is not picking up but it does have some lines here and then it's like kind of like a nice box uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Invictus Aqua old in vintage boxes kind of at first I thought these are tech testers but no these are like how they come so EDP concentration 100 ml and this is Tom Ford Bodijou. so the bottle here I think it has a combination of two bottles okay uh, I think I did review both of them one was grey vetiver I used to own it the EDP uh, as well as the ombre leather I reviewed it also so this is the bottle you must have seen this uh, already really classy i saw the ad of it the guy looks kind of weird but it does go with the perfume bottle really nice you know the i think it's kind of yellowish juice reminds me a lot of gray vetiver it has that very up class uh what you call the metal plate in front it says the name and the house the cap top they will have the tf i think it, it looks relatively very classy and this ones are not click uh, like it doesn't click on but it has a great grip so you can pick it up from this bottle it's okay and the fragrance I tested it for sometimes you know I took it out indoors outdoors cloudy days sunny days so I tried to make a combination and I'll give you my take okay so let's go let's go to here to there for the review sake so this perfume was uh, like uh, it has a lot of notes okay so I'm not gonna go into the notes I'm just gonna tell you because already the reviewers already said everything pretty much just giving you my two cents this perfume first of all is not for everybody okay uh, this if you think it's gonna be blind by word you see the bottle looks nice Tom Ford is always class yes they are but some of the fragrance are very very gutsy and out there this is another fragrance it's not much out there but this is something you should try before buying it's not a blind by word the perfume it has a very masculine mature vibe it has prominent notes of lavender and I think it has, <clears throat> let me actually read all the notes because otherwise it's too many notes, I can't remember all of them. Uh, so I think it has, uh, top notes are lavender extract and lavender, two lavender notes, middle notes are rosemary, geranium, mint, oak moss, and basil or basil. Base notes are patchouli and amber. So thing is here, first thing I would say is uh, this, uh, they use two kind of lavender in this, so it sort of gives you the fougier feel. If you do not like florals, if you do not like lavender, highly likely you're not gonna like this perfume um, second thing I want to say this perfume uh, what the oak moss you know I, I as far as I know oak moss is banned in fragrance community I mean like uh, you in terms of using in fragrance as a ingredient I think it's banned but I don't know maybe they have done some trick or something so I think this fragrance it has that mossy feel but I don't know if it's really oak moss but let me tell you one thing the opening good things performance in, in this is very very good I got eight plus hours from this usually fresh perfumes do not last that much even the uh, Tom Ford Grey Vetiver EDP did not last that long on me this one it did it's not a massive projector it has vetiver I think in this uh, did I say vetiver I think there is vetiver 
uh, there's a mint, okay? There's a mint, I think there's a vetiver, no. They don't mention, but it feels like vetiver, I don't know, perhaps the moss. So the thing is, it kind of has that gray vetiver feel from it, okay? Opening is so smooth. I mean, when you spray it first time, it feels like the mint. It's just really refreshing. It almost feels like, kind of like a citrusy, almost citrusy, but just for a minute. It goes away very, very quickly. No, not here. So the thing is, the opening is really smooth, very classy, and it's very up class and very sophisticated. This is niche quality because it was niche before and then they made it more affordable so people can afford it. I think it's a good thing. But the prices on these, I think about $170, which is still not cheap. Um, so you really have to know if you like this perfume. Do not blind buy it. Once again, do not blind buy it. So I think this fragrance is very masculine. At the same time, a lady can pull it off too. Okay, I don't know if it's just for men, but it's very much white shirt, um, dress pants, uh, office work, uh, traveling would be great if it's like a midsummer's day or um, spring day. This is perfect. But opening, whatever the lavender that you get and the mint, ah, I keep going there. Yeah. So the thing is, the fragrance, I think already reviewers said it enough, like it smells a lot like Xenotavidov, it's suggested in uh, Fragrantica as well. But I also get similarity to another fragrance, that is this one, Azaropurum, the original one, this is my vintage, and I have another one to review, that is the more modern version. So whatever you get from Azaropurum and Xenotavidov, think of a blend of both, and then have a much smoother opening. That's what you get with this. So you might ask, why would I buy this if I can get that from Azaro? Yes, absolutely, you can get the Azaro. Uh, it will not last as much as this one, but Azaro is a fine uh, replacement for this. Or this, like I, I mean, I would say this one came first, so <laughs> I don't think it's, you can call it a replacement. But this is pretty good, okay, for the budget. This perfume, it has that opening. That is the difference it makes. It's much more smoother than the both Azaro and Zeno. Zeno is so, at this modern uh, time, it's really, really um, harsh and it's kind of synthetic. The dry down, far dry down, it's really nice. I used to own it, I reviewed it. I reviewed the Azaropurum. I'll put the links below, you can check it out. But if you love those fragrances, this is an upgrade. This is a niche version of those. But with all due respect, Azaro has a lot more spices and a lot more barbershop -y feel. I think it has, uh, it features some tobacco or something, a lot of complexity in this. So these are much more complex than this one. This is relatively, simpler so the lavender done in this i think on the finest lavender uh, you can ask for i do like creed's uh there's another one creed Bordeaux portugal had beautiful lavender in that one so if you're a lavender lover if you like something relaxing soothing this will sit on your skin so nicely and you can get wafts of it if you're sitting in the office people will come in and they'll compliment you if you pass by people they'll definitely compliment you um if you are let's say an employee okay uh, you are just uh, like, you know, like just any other employee working person. But if you wear this and you're clean, you have nice haircut and even nice tie sort of. Whenever you go near people, they will automatically respect you. I think that's what great about this. I just feel that about this fragrance. It's uh, not so sweet and the citrus element is very, very low. So if you're looking for citrusy sweet perfume, this is going to be not in those categories. It will be a third category of. A more sophistication so I just showed you Guerlain's vetiver you know you talk for gray vetiver if you like uh, Azaropurum if you like Zeno Davidoff this perhaps will be your cup of tea definitely check it out in the Tom Ford counter I think this is gonna be very up plus but I saw one last story one brother he bought it just a few days back and he sold it immediately like two to three days after and he sold it for $20 less or something he did not like it it did not work for him so last one last time I'll tell you, not blind by worthy. But this is going to be appealing to people who like sophistication, who like Tom Ford, and uh, who like to dress really nice. Um, and you work at an office set up, cubicles, uh, perhaps you are the boss of a lot of other people who are subordinate to you. This will smell like authority without being a douche or, <laughs> uh, you know, like arrogant person. Very nicely blended perfume. I really like it. Uh, but I cannot suggest it for everybody. This is going to be accurate taste, okay? So beautiful presentation, beautiful fragrance. For me, it's a perfection 10. But for you people out there, uh, those who follow me, I would say try first. And for you guys, I'll give it like 8 out of 10. Solid, solid fragrance, uh, not blind by worthy. So check it out, Tom Ford, Boudi Jour, okay? Amazing little bottle. Thank you so much, and Dr. Jeffrey Bai, for this bottle courtesy once again. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye-bye.